Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. SU-30 MKI forms the backbone of Indian Air Force. It is licensed manufactured in India and Indian Air Force operate a fleet of 272 SU-30 MKI. It was once one of the best fighter jet in its category but now it is a 25 years old technology that needs midlife upgrade for the improved performance, enhanced service life and be combat ready for the modern warfare. You might be hearing a lot about the news in various defense forums related to Super Sukhoi or Sukhoi upgrade plans. Recently, Russia has also planned to upgrade its fleet of Su-30 SM-2 fighter jets and this upgrade is being considered as the base for the upgrade of Su-30 MKI being operated by Indian Air Force. In today's video, we will discuss in details of all the upgrades planned as a part of Super Sukhoi program which will transform Su-30 MKI equivalent to Su-35. This is going to be a little longer video as we are going to look into the each of the 9 upgrades planned for Super Sukhoi in detail. Probably this is going to be the most detailed video on Super Sukhoi upgrade. We will start with engine as it is the most important component for any fighter jets. As a part of this upgrade, the existing AL-31 FP engine of Sukhoi-30 MKI is planned to be replaced by AL-41 F1S engine which is also used in Su-35 fighter jets. The new AL-41F1S engine generates a thrust of 132 kN with afterburner which is 16% more than the existing one. With the improved thrust, Su-30 MKI will be able to carry more payload and more heavier bombs and missiles. This will be a big boost in their firepower. But this is not it. With more powerful engine, you can also integrate more powerful radar with enhanced range and more transmit and receive modules added to it. This will increase the fire jet's capability of early detection of adversaries and the first fire capability. The new AL-41F-1S engine will have a service life of 4000 hours which will be almost double of the existing engine. At the same time, the mass of the new engine and dimension is similar to the existing engine which means the engine can be easily integrated with Su-30 MKI without any additional modifications. The new engine is also more fuel efficient which will reduce the per hour flying cost and at the same time increase the operational range of the fighter jet. Now we will talk about the options available for the upgrade of radars in Su-30 MKI. The Su-30 MKI currently has a powerful N011 BARS PESA radar. N011M has a 400 km search range, a maximum 200 km of tracking range and 60 km in the rear hemisphere. The radar can track 15 air targets and engage 4 of them simultaneously. As a part of Super Sukhoi upgrade, Russia is offering Zook AESA radar. However, DRDO is also offering N036 X-band AESA Uttam radar, which is completely indigenous technology. This radar can be easily scaled up and down, which means you can increase or decrease the TR modules depending on the requirement. Su-30 MKI will need a larger antenna as it has a bigger frontal nose cone. Therefore, Uttam AES radar, which is going to be integrated with Su-30 MKI, will pack more TR modules. The Su-30 MKI can accommodate approximately 1200 to 1300 TR modules. It will be much cheaper than the Russian radar and can be easily integrated with indigenous newly developed air-to-air -air missile and air-to-surface weapons. HAL and LRT has already completed the feasibility study of Uttam AES radar and the findings of the same has been accepted by Indian Air Force. Once the project is cleared, the development of new Uttam AES radar which fits the Su-30 MKI nose will begin. The third upgrade is related to the mission computer used in Su-30 MKIs. The present fleet of Su-30 MKI is equipped with mission computer come display processor MC486 and DP30 MK DVLPD developed by India's very own DARE or Defense Avionics Research Establishment. It is one of the DRDO's laboratory. The 32-bit mission computer platform performs mission-oriented computation, flight management, reconfiguration come redundancy management and in-flight system self-tests. In compliance with MIL-STD-1521 and 21671 standards, 
ADA language was adopted for the machine computers software. According to DARE, it already has developed advanced computers for next generation aircraft and one developed for this MQ1 and MK2 which are power PC based computing architecture which is again a 64 bit and is a big improvement in the processing power of the computer. Talking about the fourth upgrade, it is related to the cockpit of SU-30 MKI. India's HAL has already showcased newly upgraded cockpit which now features two high resolution LCDs with multifunctional control panel with a wide 20 by 30 field of view head up display which brings it at par with the cockpit of SU-35. Samtel or Dare will develop new high resolution LCDs for the display. Talking about the fifth upgrade, it is related to the radar warning receiver or RWR. Existing SU-30 MKI fleet are equipped with Dare developed Tarang MK2 RWR. Dare has now developed a new all digital RWR named Druti for SU-30 MKI fleet which is based on its experience on D29 RWR developed for MiG-29 UBG fleet. The sixth upgrade is related to the self-protection jammer pods. The SU-30 MKI fleets were originally equipped with Russian SAP 512 pods which were later replaced due to the poor performance with Israeli ELTA ELL 8222 airborne self-protection jammer pods. Israeli ELTA has now offered wideband ELL 8222 WB pods for SU-30 MKI. However, there is an indigenous offering as well. DARE has also developed high band jammer or HBG pod which began trials in 2019. The seventh upgrade is related to IRST or infrared search and track system. The existing fleet of Indian Air Force Su-30 MKIs is equipped with Russian OLS IRST which will soon be replaced by indigenous IRST developed by BEL or Bharat Electronics Limited. It will be far more advanced and will be tuned to even detect the stealth fighter at long range. The eighth upgrade is related to the integrated communication suite or INCOM. The SU-30 MKI fleets are equipped with HAL developed INCOM 1210A which will be replaced by the indigenously developed STRs. The STRs is being developed by VC jointly with BEL for all the fighter jets in Indian Air Force fleet. These STRs will be jam resistant and will be more secure. The ninth and the last upgrade is related to radio altimeter. At present, Su-30 MKI is equipped with HL RAM 1701 which is likely to be replaced by RAM 2700A which is more advanced and was developed for Jaguar and LCA Tejas. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.